What's up guys, my name is Tyler and we are here today in the Sidorok gear shop to talk about beginner climbing shoes. First things first, what you want to do is you want to choose a shoe that fits best for you. So the first thing to look at with shoes is a beginner shoe generally is flatter than your aggressive or intermediate to advanced counterparts, which makes them a whole lot more comfortable and a little bit more suitable for beginners. Next thing to be aware of is the shape of the shoe. And you'll notice that across brands, it is quite different. And even within the same brand, shoe shape can differ quite substantially. So a basic rule of thumb to follow when trying on shoes is you wanna make sure that the shoe fits your foot the best. A shoe that might be good for myself will not be the best shoe for your foot. Now that we have covered the shape of the shoe, we want to go to the fit. So I just want to direct your attention to this very handy graphic that Artsun have on the bottom of their shoe boxes. What that shows you is it gives you a little chart on how to fit their shoes specifically. First off, measure your foot and then measure the length of the shoe that you want to try on. You have a comfort fit, a performance fit and an extreme fit. Just because this is on an Otsun shoe box doesn't necessarily mean that you can't apply it to all of these brands I have here in front of me. A comfort fit generally is between 5 and 10 mils longer than your foot. A performance fit is less than 5 mils longer than your foot. And a extreme fit generally is 5 mils or more shorter than your foot. So generally what you're looking for on the fit is I always say look for that sort of sock feeling. So you know when you, when you put a sock on, it really hugs your foot really nicely. Uh, there's no space or gaps, you know, in the arch on your heel, above your toes. It's a, a really nice snug fit. So you wanna make sure that your foot fills the entire shoe, your heel sits right in the back, your toes are up against the front. And like I said, with the extreme or performance fit, sometimes your toes will curl slightly. That is a little bit of a, a weird sensation, so you don't necessarily have to go for that tight performance or extreme fit. A lot of experienced climbers will tell you to, so if you have a lot of friends that have climbed before, you will often hear them saying, no, you need to downsize like two, three sizes and then you got the perfect shoe. That is all lies, okay? Like I said in the beginning, you wanna fit the shoe to your foot, okay? Whether that's comfort, performance, extreme, it's all up to you. As long as at the end of the day, you can stand on a hold and you can fully put faith in your feet and trust the shoe. Main differences between Velcro and Lace is Lace is generally more comfortable because you can tweak the fit down the shoe as best as possible to fit the features of your foot much better. That makes Lace very popular for your long day, all day multi pitches. You can basically put the shoe on when you leave the ground and only take it off when you hit the top of your summit. Velcro is a lot more convenient if you be, are doing a lot of gym climbing. Uh, in between burns, roots, boulders, uh, you basically want to take your shoes off and put them back on maybe just to give your feet a bit of a rest. Velcro makes that super easy. You'll find that a lot of the super aggressive bouldering shoes only have the one strap that makes it even easier. And something that is very popular for gym shoes like the La Sportiva Cobra. This is what we call the slipper shoe. No closure system, it's just a whole bunch of elastic and it just slips on nice and easy. Come chat to me in the gear shop or one of my GearWiz colleagues and they will help you out in choosing the best shoe that fits you.